You know, I've got to say one thing about sometimes like using really simple machines. Also, like this is, um, you know, the lowest end of the hand cranked uh, kind of embossing die cutting machines. I mean, my God, it's only you can only do three and a half inches wide. Um, and there's no uh, you can't like adjust the, the thickness or any of that stuff. That being said. This thing is near, nearly indestructible. Um, uh, I was mentioning to Zoe that at one point I actually, uh, I figured it out now, I, uh, put the rubber on the top, but I don't know how the hell I did it. Well, I know how I did it. I'm doing things you're not supposed to do with this. And I um, managed to push the rubber right through in between the crevice of the roller and that, and it was coming out this foot. Uh, oh my God, it was a flipping nightmare. I had a long time to get it out. But this thing is near and indestructible. What I'm trying to say is, also on the side note, is um, once I get it perfected, once I've figured this out, uh, not for the embossing or the die cutting bit, even though I did emboss with this, so this is embossed, um, once I figure out how to make turn this into a little mini print, printing press and perfect it, in other words, I'm getting consistently good prints, um, then I'm going to maybe move, well, it'll take me a long time to, uh, to save up anyways, to buy the deluxe model or whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, but once I perfect that, like I said, and I can get some, um, uh, yeah, this is, a, you know, the, those little wood anchors there I got at the, the dollar store that Charles, uh, likes. Um, uh, anyways, so yeah, if, once I get a consistent print, even though, I mean, for some things, it's going to be nice to have like a, you know, an old look to it, like it's been stamped, uh, you know, by some official or whatever. But for this stuff, I want it, like I said, if I'm going to be making a board game later or doing what, or trying to figure out stuff to do uh, by hand, um, I'm going to have to make my own uh, things. Uh, and that's where I'm going to now go to the, the professionals, if you want to call it that. Uh, yeah, yeah. What am I saying? If you want to call it that, he is bloody hell, man. Um I'm going to be uh, contacting Steve Larkin, Custom Game Bits, and uh, um, getting him, hopefully, to make some uh, little things for me. Yeah, I could 3D print them, but you know what, man? I want them done properly, properly. And uh, I love also interacting with uh, Steve Larkin. And 51 days from now, I can go and see him because he'll be at Can Games. Uh, he also, for crying out loud, runs... Um, a board game library. You can go and like just uh, take out a, a board game and go and play it free and find out if you like it or not. And so on. it's just like, oh, that's just amazing. Anyways, so I'll be contacting him and see what kind of uh, stuff I can make. What I would like to do is get some stamps for um, like mountains and, and uh, you know, uh, that type of stuff. Uh, we'll see. One thing at a time here, man. One thing at a time. Uh, or maybe... Um, uh, I could do a uh, count. I can start stamping. Uh, we'll see. But anyways, I'm having fun. See ya.